What is the difference between the Z80 processors on the left and the Z80 processor on the right? Join me and find out as we replace the Z80 in my ZX81 Timex Sinclair. You can see that in our previous video, we have already removed the uh, existing linear power regulator and the heat sink. So in this video, we're going to look at the next step, and that would be replacing this old NEC Z80, which is a NMOS CPU with a newer CMOS version of the CPU. And the reason for that is the CMOS versions of the Z80 have less current draw and should generate less heat. As we saw from the previous video, we can measure both the inbound current draw as well as the heat generated in the case, and we'll be doing the same experiments this time. Now I do have multiple Z80s in case replacing the first one doesn't work. I initially plan on replacing it with a 6 megahertz Z80 that I purchased off of AliExpress. And if that doesn't work, I have a Z80 of known providence that I purchased from DigiKey and is an actual new Z80 part. So we're hoping that this Z80 part works and is not a relabeled IC. For comparison, the CPU on this motherboard is an NEC version of the C80. I also do have a Zilog version from another ZX81. Well, that appears to have seated well, so we will reassemble the case and come back and turn on the computer. Okay, we have the Timex Sinclair hooked back up to the TV. Let's go ahead and see if it powers on with the new CPU. And yes, it does. Look at that. So the new CPU seems to work just fine. We'll go ahead and get it ready for our next test, which is to check the current draw. So let me unplug it again. All right, we're ready to plug it back in. There we go. We have video, computer's powered on, and we are pulling 96 milliamps of current. And going into the power supply, we are pulling four watts and 0.07 amps. So our next step will be to put the case back on, and then we're going to run a one-hour heat test. All right, the case is back together. It is currently powered off, and we have an internal temperature of 78.8 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's go ahead and power on the computer, and we are now going to start our one-hour temperature test. All right, we're at the one hour mark. 
we have an internal case temperature of 82 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recorder. Now let's open up the case. And check some internal temperatures. The ULA is showing a temperature of averaging about a hundred and about a hundred and ten degrees. The C80 CPU about ninety six degrees. The EEPROM about ninety degrees. And the RAM about ninety degrees. So we'll go ahead and stop this test and analyze the data. Let's look at the temperature curve after our three tests. Stock ZX81 system, after replacing the linear power supply with a modern switching power supply, and finally, after replacing the NMOS Z80 integrated circuit with a CMOS IC we can see a definite reduction in system heat over time. Some takeaways from this data. After our two mods, first we have reduced overall current draw by 66% and heat inside the case by over 10 degrees after an hour. Additionally, each component shows improvement in temperature after an hour and even the components not yet replaced have benefited. As heat is a primary factor for circuit failure, we should be able to expect an extended lifespan for our Sinclair computer. I hope this video has been informative and that you will join me for future project videos. Thank you for watching.